Hey everybody, it's Dr. K. So, before I've posted and talked about having good movement variability with setting a neutral spine before we interact with the world. You know, that's meant to protect our spine, but also give us the best movement options. Now, in order to start interacting with the world, I've really got to start from the ground up if I'm thinking about lifting or running or jumping. And I really have to think about, you know, what my foot pressures are like and what my movement or mobility in my ankle are like. So this is where we can kind of target two areas at the same time using this strength band distraction technique. So basically I have my strength band here and I'm going to hook it at my ankle and I'm going to walk it out to get some tension in line. My other leg will come out and just kind of pin the back side of that band to the floor. Now I'll readjust my strength band so that it's underneath my medial and lateral malleolus, but basically the tension is going down into the floor. So from here, basically what I can do is I can start to mobilize with that distraction and I can start to lean forward into that, into that tension to really kind of create a distraction effect while I'm leaning forward. Now, since I'm doing all this great work, I'm also going to think about my foot pressures, which means that every time that I come back into a start position, I'm going to push down into the floor through my midfoot so that I'm not only kind of getting feedback, but I'm also ingraining my movement patterns, my foot pressures for whenever I'm trying to perform and I don't want to have to think about those things. You know, you might also think about biasing the outside of your foot so you'll mobilize towards your little toe or you'll bias the inside towards your big toe. But the idea is you're going to mobilize towards your position and then whenever you come back, you're going to push down into the floor like you're squashing an orange. You're going to mobilize, push down into the floor like you're squashing an orange. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, you can also add in a little bit of external weight. But the idea is I'm still coming out I'm pushing down into the floor. I'm biasing the little toe, I'm coming out, and I'm pushing down into the floor. So again, you're getting good overpressure, you're getting good movement variability, you're increasing your mobility, and you're getting some sensory awareness from your listening foot by practicing your foot pressures. So I would tell you, if you haven't tried it yet, go ahead and give it a try. Um, it's extremely important to you know, practice at a slower pace uh, the things that we need for good conscious feedback so that when we're doing something at a faster pace, you know, we're better prepared for the unexpected. So give it a try. Give me a call if you have any questions. Stay strong. Inspire others.